Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel and want to talk to you just a little bit about 6.0 Power Stroke oil filters. Now, the 6.0 Power Strokes, uh, what's going on with these oil filters? If you're a 6 if you're a Power or 6.0 Power Stroke owner, you know about this. We are new 6.0 owners here at the shop. We got a test truck here, uh, bought in the winter of last year, and we've uh, begun doing some of our installation videos on this. We had seen some videos about the differences in the oil filters for the 6.0 Power Strokes. Just wanted to talk to you just a little bit today about that and what's going on with these. Now, when we got this truck, sure enough, this had an aftermarket oil filter on it, uh, it right out of the gate. And the way you know it, when you watch this video and leave you with this note so you remember, on all of the aftermarket oil filters, uh, it says it in big letters. It'll say, do not reuse cap. It'll be really, you know, really easy to see there. Make sure that you're paying attention for it. The reason why you cannot reuse the cap on these filters, and it's supposed to be, you know, attached together. You'll see in our inst in kind of our installation video to this, the, the filter that was on this truck actually came apart and left you with the cap. When you order the oil filter, when you order a genuine Motorcraft oil filter, the truck, the oil filter that's designed to be in these trucks, it comes in just an element form. So it's really easy for you guys as owners to be conf confused by this. You order an oil filter, you get just the element, what are you gonna do? Well, you take this out and then you've got the cap and the filter. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta pull this out of there or what some people do. The reason why that's a bad deal is because this filter does not fit in this cap. So it doesn't stay. It's at a different depth in, because of the cap. And I'll show you that the depth of that in just a second. Now, the reason now you're, you're saying, well, why does that matter? Why does the depth of the oil filter matter? Inside of this canister, there's a drain valve. And what happens when you take the oil filter, the oil element out of the canister, that opens the valve and all of the dirty oil goes out of there. That way, when you go to put a filter back in here, you don't have oil splashing around and it's, and it's actually gonna be the, the oil that's gonna re-enter the canister is going to be filtered oil. So that goes out. If you were to put a um, genuine motorcraft or just the element, inside of this cap the depth is not right so what you're going to have what you're going to have happen there is you're not going to get that seal on the oil drain valve and you could have a catastrophic failure of your motor it won't build up oil pressure it may not even start you might get a few miles down the road wipe the motor out any way it goes it's a bad bad deal so if you've bought a truck and it's got an aftermarket filter on it that's got the different cap, the cap again will say on it, do not reuse cap. If you have that, it's aftermarket. What you'll have to do at that point, we sell these on the website. This is the genuine Motorcraft oil filter cap. Uh, this is the one that's gonna work in conjunction with the oil filter. You can see the two of them work together, snap together. Uh, just a much, much better filter uh, the cap we have available on the website. Again, uh, genuine motor cap. Want to talk just a little bit about the caps before we go into showing you the canister and what's going on inside of there. The caps we offer, this is the Genuine Motorcraft again on the website. We offer some really, really nice billet machine ones. We offer some from Sinister Diesel. We offer them from Boztech. Um, We've got them from Beans Diesel that are on the site. So several different really, really good manufacturers. If I left out any, I apologize, guys. Just look on the uh, on the website for oil filler cap or oil filter cap on the website. Search that. All of the billet ones will come up. Some really, really nice products inside of there. So that's a, another plug from there. And I want to show you something, and I'll show you when you get inside the canister how, how this works, um, how that oil drain works. But I wanted to show you something that was kind of cool on these so on your motorcraft you're going to have a felt seal on the bottom of these that'll go around the standpipe there with the aftermarket ones you're getting a rubber seal uh, this has been known to come apart the rubber seals have been known to come apart this will go through your oil system you can plug up your ipr valve you got another no start condition it's a bad deal and there was actually a raised surface on the bottom of this filter if you look there there's a raised surface it's it's not much, but it could be enough to put added pressure on that drain valve that's in your oil canister, maybe even break it. Uh, then you've got to replace the whole oil canister. So there's a whole lot of different things that are going on with this filter. It's just bad juju. Now, if you want to continue to run them, it's no problem. You just can't go back to this. You can't go back to the original OE style filter, which is what we suggest. Going back to the OE style filter because 
these engines are designed to run the OE style filters. So now let's get in the engine bay. Let's take a look inside the oil canister and see what we've got. All right, so before we went top siding in this motor, Adam, we're standing, Adam and I were standing here talking about this situation with these oil filters and, and just how kind of ridiculous it is. So went to take the oil cap off of here and was going to allow this, um, allow my oil canister to drain. This truck, like we were telling you, has totally got one of the uh, oil caps on aftermarket oil caps that says do not reuse cap right on the top of big old letters there. Took, I went to take the cap off of it. Guess what? Filter didn't come with it. So I was, and as I was pulling it up, I was like, oh my gosh, we're staring down the barrel. These guys have used uh, the stock motor craft filter back in here. How in the world did this truck survive? Doesn't look like you did it. Inside of that cap, it's got catches on this one. This was, must have been a little bit of a cheaper one. It's got catches in there for the filter. But as with the filter falling down out of the cap, I'm not too sure that the alignment of this was correct on the drain back valve uh, or the drain valve for this canister. So we're gonna look in there and I'm gonna show you that valve. Uh, this truck wasn't having any oil pressure problems, but it was having some hard start issues. Uh, so definitely going to be something that we're going to look at there uh, and this could have been could have been one of the causes of that so we'll go ahead and ease this filter out throw it away and uh, you can see the difference of that you know what let me grab a rag here i'll show one more thing as that's coming out The difference in the length of those filters you can kind of tell that just from right there so you're not going to have the correct engagement on that filter to this valve that we're going to show you all right so we wanted to show you inside of the canister kind of what was going on here here is the drain valve and what happens with this drain valve when you take the fuel filter or the oil filter out of here that allows this to come up. And then that lets all of the old residual oil in the, the filter housing, and the oil filter housing, to drain out of the housing. That way you don't have uh, contaminated old oil in this housing um, on the outside of your new filter there. So when you set your filter down, that closes this valve and then it's able to, the truck is able to make oil pressure because this right here, this just might as well, if, it, if this is open and you use the wrong size oil filter here and this is open, you might as well have a hole knocked in the side of your block because it's gonna, it's gonna definitely, definitely hurt your oil pressure. So this is the importance of these filters. Hopefully that you can see that. Adam, move your flashlight back towards you just a fuzz there. Yeah. I think you're on the wrong side of the spring. Yeah. You need to come closer to you. Uh, there you go. So yeah, now there you are right there. So shows you the valve and what we're up against. So again, very important to use the uh, proper oil filters here. Uh, you know, if you had continued to use the aftermarket setup um, with this, you've just got to stay here. You don't have the option to go back to uh, the OE style filter, but to go into good filtration oe filtration get yourself the new motorcraft or the motorcraft cap motorcraft oil filter and go back uh, the way this system was designed so if you have a question about uh 6.0 oil filters or any of our other videos uh just give us a call adam likes to flash the light at me so uh as always uh, thank you for watching please like and subscribe to our channel thank you